Hello everybody and welcome to another update video. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer uh, trying to develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me this week. We're going to be talking about the multi-page bug fixes that I showed you uh, last week. But before we get into those, uh, I want to give a big shout out as always to all of my Patreon supporters, my Libre Pay supports, supporters and the kind people that buy me tea on buymeacoffee.com. Mm. Thank you all so much for your support. Um, doing this Ink Inkscape work wouldn't really be possible uh, without your continued uh, effort towards making sure that this, this is sustainable and I have more time to work on Inkscape. So with that out of the way, uh, let's get into the actual multi-bug. Multi-bug. <laughs> it is that too. The multi-page bug fixing. This week we had a list of bugs to fix. I managed to get through a lot of them. Uh, they weren't quite as small as I thought they would be last week, but uh, I'm very happy that we managed to get them fixed because as I was pro processing them and fixing things like crashes and positions of things and so, and so on, I actually found more problems, um, more crashes and more other things that I managed to fix along along the way, which is great. And um, yeah, it's been it's been a process of just polishing at this point. The uh, the one thing that I did actually manage to do uh, proactively was uh, I needed to make sure that the viewport was a page that would appear as a page when you open a, a an SVG that doesn't have a doesn't have multiple page pages. And this is for regressions, so that. If you uh, if we want to merge this into regular Inkscape, we need to prove that this is not going to disrupt the work of people that don't want multi-page work. Uh, and in order to do do that, I think it's important to make sure that the viewport can still be shown as a regular page. So what I had to do is I had to separate all of the code, the visual code that paints the page to the screen from the uh, the page construction and into its own sort of widget definition, so that it can be used by both the viewport and also by the multi-page work. And hopefully now they will look the same. Um, and I also wanted to make sure that the viewport and the first page could be shadowed. So like they would keep each other's size um, by, by default. Not that they always would, mind you, but that they could. Uh, and I think that's pro probably gonna be important because there's a certain kind of expectation about what that viewport is that uh, could be confusing because we now have the concept of pages and also the, the concept of whatever this like preview box is that you that would show up in a in a um, if you opened it up in another pro program. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing the bug fi fixes for next week. I think there's still some things that are left to do, more polishing as as always to make sure that this feature can land for one one point two. Um. Did also uh, work on some website stuff, mostly just security re related, pre preventing spammers, uh, adding banned words to more parts of the web website so that it's more it's more likely that spammers will be banned sooner, and to prevent people from uh, joining teams if they have been banned, for example. Um, but that's about it for this week. Next week, um, I'm probably going to take it lightly because it's my birthday week. And uh, I tend not to work on my birthday, but don't worry. I'm still going to produce a video and uh, you'll see me back here, probably just talking about bug, bug fixes as well. Uh, but do let me know and do try the builds. I'll put a link in, in the description below to make sure that you give it a try. Use P PDF files that you think might, might break it and re report them to me because the more examples I have, the more, uh, more bugs that I'll be able to see Im immediately and fix so sooner. Um, and that's about it for, for, for this week. Thank you for jo joining me and I hope to see you next week.